everybody. Good evening. Uh, my name is Alan, and on behalf of the crew of the show, I'd like to welcome you to another edition of Bridging Heaven and Earth. And, you know, when the, when the opening comes on with the Bridging Heaven and Earth and who the guests are, I mean, I can watch it on a monitor here. And I was just seeing that little boy's face, and he's a, he's a, 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 a son of a, of a really good friend of mine, and, you know, I'm a, his godfather. And, and I just see the, the love and the joy that he, he experiences when we're together and just in his life. And I know that for all of us of any age, of any race, of any color, of any creed, without separation, without division of any kind, we could all experience that joy, that childlike joy that he experiences. And I know that this is the time when that can really happen for us. And tonight's show really exemplifies that. We have, again, two women of, of, of just extraordinary grace and beauty and power, and they're going to, with words and with, with channeling and with uh, guided meditations and with toning and, and, and sound and words, they're going to bring that inspiration of love and joy to us. That, that really is the, the experience we want. We want to be happy. We want to know joy, and it's, it's available now and we really can experience it. And tonight's show, as I said, is a real example of that. We have uh, an, an old friend and a new friend back with us, Rana Herman, who's been on before. And we had just enormous numbers of calls about her and where she is and where she's being and when uh, she can come back again. She's a, I think the, the main thing about her is her grace and her beauty and her a vibration of love and I want people to just tune into that she is probably the first foremost and probably clearest channel of Archangel Michael that exists and before anyone was channeling mostly uh, she was channeling and channeling with a clarity and a love and an inspiration that is almost unrivaled she's a teacher she's written books and she's just an extraordinary being whether she's channeling or just being available for us and we also have with us uh, Sarah West, who's uh, an angelic transmitter, a visionary, and uses her being to bring forth love and devotion. So we just have a really wonderful show, and I think that if you just settle in and relax and let the vibration of the women on this show take you, then you will experience the joy that you want. So please, as we do at this time, to settle us in, Please join me in a short meditation or just get quiet or just close your eyes or just watch the, the, the program quietly. So please join me. Thank you. And now we'll have Sarah West sing Amazing Grace. And Sarah's been uh, played all over the world. She's played at many of the sacred sites. Uh, she's played at the White House. She's an extraordinary talent and just a beautiful being. So please join with me in welcoming Sarah to Bridging Heaven and Earth.
Thank you, Sarah. Welcome. Welcome, Rana. So, for those who didn't see our first show and aren't familiar with your work, why don't you just give a little background on how you got started and how Archangel Michael started coming through you? Okay. Um, I think um, all of us are aware that we were on the path way before we really realized it, once we start to come into that awareness. And so, um, it actually started in 68 when I found out I could do automatic writing very easily. But, um, Meaning you would write, write as you would with, get information. Yes, with, right, with just right, right. the hand would take over. Right. But in um, the 80s, after I retired, my husband and I retired from a wonderful career. And uh, we, um, in San Diego, a lot of us started, the group started, you know, and we started experimenting. And in 1987, a master teacher came to me, and um, his name was Triton. And I started channeling him. And then in 1991, um, or January of 92, at the 11-11, uh, we had a wonderful event. And uh, I came home to channel some information for the group that couldn't join us. And um, I was channeling into a tape recorder. And from a very, felt like a very far off um, energy, but it impacted, it was different from what I was used to. And um, the voice came through kind of a hollow voice, but it said something to the effect that I am the Archangel Michael. Um, you are to be my messenger to bring forth a new truth in this time of great change, and I will send a messenger to you, 
until you can um, adjust to my energy. And um, so that's how it began. And, and I, so there was a transition yes, process. Yes, uh -huh. uh, for about six months. And um, I would take the messages on the computer and um, they would come out in almost perfect copy. I would really? put my hands I on my lap saying, and, right, and um, right. then he would take over. And uh, it's very beautiful, gentle energy. And uh, what I like to tell people is that uh, it is not unique. We all have them, but maybe not to at the level that I'm doing. Uh, but um, we all have that ability to tap into our higher awareness, our higher consciousness, that little intuitive voice that we think, oh, no, that's, you know. We don't that, trust you know, it. No, that's true. Right. And um, Archangel Michael said that they are making themselves known to us. It's incredible how many people are saying, I am getting these messages or the angelic realms. Um, and, you know, I'm living proof. Everything that I've been told is true. I mean, if someone had told me uh, five years ago I'd be doing what I'm doing, I would have said, you're out of your mind. Right, you're insane. <laughs> the, the book, his book, uh, Wings of Light, Light, is in five different languages. It's around the world. Um, you say it's going to like a third and it's going second, a, a third, a third, or third fourth printing, printing, yeah. a third printing in Dutch. They, they purchased it for the libraries. In, 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 in uh, the Netherlands. No, I don't know where Dutch is. <laughs> 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 Am I from Earth? <laughs> is Dutch anywhere? No. And um, it's our Dutch <laughs> fans. I don't know. <laughs> it's gone to second printing here, and uh, Portuguese, French, and German. And I love it. It's called the under thing. It's messages of love and inspiration. Yes. Yeah, I mean, yes. that's really so beautiful. And and it's true. They are. Um, they are the messengers from God, and that connection is uh, coming much closer between us, between the higher realms, and it's such an exciting time. It really so you, is. Would, uh, the way I mean, I've described and other people, I was like almost the vibration of Earth is is ascending or or, or getting into that finer finer vibration. Right? Um, you hear about the ascension buzzword. Nobody knows ascension. Right. Um, what Archangel Michael tells us is that ascension is about lifting your consciousness, your frequencies, your vibrations, so that spirit can descend into matter. So that once again we can become that spiritual human being. You are In not a and you are right. not just a physical being with a soul. You are a spiritual being having a human experience. Right. And it is so incredible what's happening. It's so exciting. Everyone, no matter uh, what their philosophy is, they're, they're feeling an excitement and an intensity. And you know yourself, time is speeding up. I mean, it's like everything is just happening so quickly and changing so rapidly around the world. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful time to be alive. It really is. So what would you say is like if you had to give like a main message, if you had a, I mean, we're going to do, Michael's going to channel yes, in yes. a little mm -hmm. while and he'll give his message. But mm -hmm. if you had to give a concise, you know, paragraph, Thing, if this is the main message, what would you say it would be? I would say it's about first love of self, the oneness, the oneness that the Creator is not out there. We have that spark of the divine within us. It's a gift. And we are entitled to all the beauty, bounty, and abundance of the, on the earth. We just have to That's claim it again. That's what it's made for. That's what it's made for. Right. We just have to claim it again. It's right. ours. And to claim that sovereignty that we are a unique, beautiful human being. And we're co-creators, either of lack and limitation or of joy and abundance. Mm -hmm. It's your choice. And so if you had to say, how would Michael say the best way to to experience more and more of that? What would you, or you say? I mean, let's, okay. what would you say? We're going to hear what he it's, says it's, later. It's, all, it's almost like uh, what he says, I say. <laughs> right, I know. It's like, I can't, can't keep you and, to a part. And my, and my seminars, are, I call it almost like spirituality 101. First of all, it's um, what, what your thoughts, what you think creates a frequency around you. And that creates, your reality is different than mine. I create my reality by my thoughts, my emotions, my deeds, my actions. I talk about words. Be very careful about what you say. Like, I am. I'm in trouble. <laughs> it's like that old Dylan song. If my thought dreams could be seen, they put my head in a guillotine. <laughs> but the words, I am, I am tired, I am sick. I right. am like, subconscious right. mind says, right. okay, we can that. do that. Right. And so I say, let's say I create, I enjoy, I will, I can, I have. And um, began to see the best in everyone, began to focus away from the negative, 
begin to see the beauty because what you focus on is what you give energy to and what you create more of and become the observer of it. if you just tap into your own little monkey mind because that radio station in there is sending out those waves and it's either sending out empowerment peace joy and love or it's sending out suffering and negativity. pain and negativity fear mm -hmm. fear is a good one so i uh, are there any suggested tools like meditation or? Medit for me, it's active meditation. Someone said, and I, I'm not sure who it was, but they said, you know, when uh, when uh, we talk to God, it's called prayer. Uh, when God talks back, it's called schizophrenia. But for me, I like active meditation, where um, you visualize and you create within your mind what it is that you want to have happen. And then you go into the stillness and you listen, but we, you don't go on the mountaintop for 20 years and try to become enlightened. Mm -hmm. That isn't the way we do it now. Right, not in the Western no, world, no. for sure. We, and, and, but right. the meditation of the Eastern world of turning inward and listening, after you put out that mm -hmm. divine blueprint, what, what is it you want to have happen? What is your perfect world? Mm -hmm. And you're very specific about it. Then you add the energy of emotions. What would it be like to have all of that? To have oh live in this wonderful place have that beautiful partner and then you turn it over to your divine self this is something greater so you're in attunement with your highest good mm -hmm. do you think people need to experience the quiet in in that process and yes somehow? yes because then you listen to the intuition right. then you start yeah, to I, listen yes, to the nudging because it's something you behind listen the chatter, to right? you listen to the nudging of spirit and then the hardest thing of all then you take the action right then you have to take the action that's the formula. That's the formula. Universal laws of manifestation. So, what do you see is is like? I mean, you travel the world giving this message, yes. and what do you see of the? Uh, you know, trends is a bad word, but do you, you just see more and more people just being more and more excited and more and um, more open. And yes, but um, what has been given before hasn't worked. And in the, terms of like of of. Um, God being out there, pulling the strings and making things happen. Right. We are now, it's taking responsibility. It's uh, knowing that we are in control. We have all the help that we could ever ask for, but we are to take our spiritual power. We are to, and that's one of the things I talk about too, taking that divine will, the first pray the divine will of the creator so that we become co-creators and and not this for me martyrdom syndrome mm -hmm. taking right. our power and creating it of putting boundaries um allowing other people to be in their truth but really taking control mm -hmm. taking control and loving yourself don't and be joyful right. don't make it so difficult yeah, it's God, not God that is, heavy that is joy yeah. right that is exactly. Joy. You know, exactly it's not this the uh, old sackcloth and and uh beat yeah, yourself yeah. up even like uh the song amazing grace you know like a wretch like me i don't i don't like that no I and understand. i don't think god ever meant it to be mm -hmm. that way either we are beautiful beautiful sacred beings we right. are so incredibly beautiful and we just have to remember that and you know you don't have to like everyone or or, or uh, accept everyone but you can Except the beautiful being that's within that, that beautiful God spark. When you start to look at that, then everybody becomes beautiful. Right. Everybody. In their own way. In their own way. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. As long as they live on the other side of the <laughs> <laughs> But that's what's happening. You, it seems we don't meet strangers anymore. We see someone and it's like there's that heart connection, that feeling, that beautiful sense of I remember you or I know you. Yeah, just a sense of yes. yeah, non-separation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Absolutely. it's really amazing. Mm -hmm. So you go all over the world in all the countries and the languages and, yes. and that connection happens. It happens everywhere. And uh, like in Europe, the Netherlands, everywhere, they are so eager. They are so, I mean, it's spreading. All of, it's all over the world. It really is in every country. Um, and, and this I like. Uh, Archangel Michael says, we are the transition to see. No matter what race, religion, culture, creed, they, whatever they call them, they believe in angels. And in times of great change, we come in and in force to open the heart, to make that connection so that people will open up enough for the new philosophy, for the new information, for a higher level of wisdom. Mm -hmm. We're becoming much wiser spiritually. 
because there's a lot more information. We are becoming galactic beings rather than just this little earth, or, or we, we are learning that there is so much more out there. And yeah, we're just experiencing more transcendentalness, right, or more exactly, infiniteness. Exactly. So why stop? Where does it stop? Where does energy stop? Absolutely. What is outside of God's energy? Mm -hmm. Nothing. And so it's, 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 yeah, right. we are, it's the most exciting time, um, I guess, since we first came here and came into physical body. Because we are on the journey home. Yeah, yeah, it's time. And so you, you find people really coming to that and really resonating with they that. They are at, at many All different levels. No matter what the religion, no matter what their beliefs are, there is that hunger beginning to, to know build, the truth. To know the truth and, and, and that divine, to feel it and that to divine feel discontent. Joy. Right, exactly. That, that, that something's happening. Right. I mean, it just seems so silly to be, you know, be here with all this bounty and all this beauty, you know, especially, you know, a place like where we film is in Santa Barbara, exactly. which the ocean and the mountains oh, and the trees. Oh, it's and incredibly It's beautiful. so incredibly beautiful. And yet we, we suffer here. I suffer here sometimes. And it's, mm -hmm. you almost go, how is this possible? What an interesting experiment this has been. But, you know, um, our growth, the lessons, you know, we, the lessons um, sometimes are painful. Yeah. Right. And, and, but it's a growth. Those, yeah. but you can see them differently. You can see them as a right. challenge and an opportunity, right. rather than being. Well, a, yeah, and also you can go through them a lot faster, and sure. almost be like having that develop that quiet place where you could watch this, you know, this person going through what this person goes through. Exactly. And so don't be afraid to change. And then also when you come up to these obstacles, if you see them in a different way, and uh, just flow through them, like they say there, the darkness cannot exist where the light is, and. Uh, uh, you put a light on a situation or move out of ego, then it changes. And just like all the like the, the rain and and, and uh, um, the bad weather, um, if those people are going through it, of course we feel great empathy for them. But it's like the Mother Earth is cleansing herself right. as well. Right. You know? And look how people come together at those times, how they begin to support each other, and out of every adversity, if you look for it. There is, there is beauty, and something good comes out of it. Yeah, one man's floor is yeah. another man's ceiling. And uh, I can tell you that's my <laughs> own experience from the things that I've, I've had to go through. <laughs> uh -huh. No, all of us. I, I mean, that. I don't know anybody in the human body who doesn't have at some point a cross to bear the way it's been so exactly. far. Exactly. And, you know, it seems to be coming out. I mean, we're coming into, you know, a new age and a new time where that's not so required. That's right. You know, that's but right. it seems to be happening. So. Uh, Ron is doing workshops all over, so I just want everybody to know that, again, I'll probably announce at the end, and Sarah's doing a lot of stuff, so uh, uh, workshops and seminars, so if you, if you want to find out about it, call me at 805-687-2053, that's 805-687-2053, and I'll give you whatever information you want. There's also an 800 number at the end of the show, again, I forgot it. But watch it at the end of the show. It's an 800 number with a PIN number and call me and we'll get you whatever information you need. So now what we're going to have is Ron is going to lead us on a guided meditation. So I'm really excited to participate. So Rana, please. Close your eyes, if you will. And take a deep breath. Deep, 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 deep down in your abdomen just as deep as you can, and then blow it all out. Take another deep breath. Deep, 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 and then just blow it all out very gently. Now envision however you perceive a crystalline pillar of light coming down from your divine self, the Holy Spirit, whatever you wish to call it. But it's a beautiful, beautiful energy, iridescent sparkling, comes down and it surrounds you and enfolds you and it goes down and anchors in the core of the earth. And now see or feel or sense a laser beam of light come down and it's going to pierce your crown chakra. And the chakras are just energy centers throughout your body. And it's going to begin to spiral throughout your body. It's going to begin to sweep through all of your cellular structure. Feel it go through your brain structure. Move your consciousness into your brain. How does it feel inside of your skull? Become acquainted with your body and the sensations. Feel it as it moves around 
in your brain structure. Feel your conscious mind as it shifts to the side as the observer and your subconscious mind seeing all of those negative energies that are there being illumined. All of the fear and the guilt, all of the frustrations and the phobias. See them being dissolved and illumined. Only those empowering, wondrous, loving thoughts remain. And now feel that energy go down into your heart center. And you have a cathedral, a beautiful cathedral within your heart. A golden cathedral. Move into that center. Move into that cathedral. Into that sacred space. You walk into a door. And there is a beautiful being. There is a beautiful being standing, waiting for you. When you move toward this being, it's a male or female, and you look into its eyes, and you know that this is your soul self. The love that radiates from this being overwhelms you, and it fills your heart. It fills you. You remember, and you embrace. And now you begin to move down a spiral, a double helix, you move down together, down to the core of the earth. And there stands a beautiful, beautiful lady in a gossamer green gown with flowers in her hair. And the animals and the birds are around her. And this is the beautiful Mother Earth. The Mother Earth that has supported us and loved us and nurtured us. And you embrace the beautiful Mother Earth. And she offers you a gift. What is that gift that she gives you? And in return, she asks something of you. What is it that she asks of you? And now you leave her, and you start back up that spiral again. And as you move up, all of a sudden, you're in a beautiful forest a forest path with trees and the sun filtering down through the trees and moss on the ground. There's water through the water, waterfall and the sprinkling water trickling down. And you move down this path and you look down in the valley and there is a great crystal pyramid and you wind down that path until you reach a door and you go down five steps one two three four five and you moved into this beautiful dome crystal pyramid and you look around you remember you've been there before Out of the walls are beautiful crystals of every color and they're projected out and they're terminated at the end and they all begin to blaze forth. There's rose quartz walls and there's geometric patterns on the floor. Look at these, you remember. You remember. And on a raised platform, there is a marble couch with a beautiful golden pillow and you lie down and it fits you perfectly and all of these wonderful crystalline energies begin to penetrate down through the very core of your being your RNA, your DNA healing balancing, harmonizing your glands and your organs removing all the pain, all the ancient memories, all the guilt all the fear all the sense of betrayal, all of those things that you've carried with you for all, all of these many, many years. And they begin to dissolve. Let them go. Where in your body have these impacted you, creating discomfort and disease and pain? Let them go. They don't, they don't serve you any longer. Let them go. 
And you can come to this place any time that you wish. Any time that you wish, you can come back. You can come to this sacred place and your guides and your teachers will be there to talk with you, to counsel you, to nurture you. What would you have here in this temple? Would you like to have a computer or some dusty old files or some wonderful old ledgers? This is your sacred space. This is your temple for the future or for the past. You can come here at any time you wish and all of your soul family as well can come there and join you. So now you get up and you walk around and you look at this beautiful place for a moment and you go to the door and you walk up the five stairs one, two, three, four, five. Then you walk back up the path, back up this wonderful spiraling path until you begin to lift off in this wonderful spiral again and you begin to expand out, out into the higher dimensions out into the oneness. Feel as you move into your soul self, as you move in to the beauty of spirit, out of body into spirit, and then from spirit back into your body. They are not separated. They are one. And you are one with all it is. Take a deep breath, and when you are ready, you may open your eyes. Oh, thank you, man. That was beautiful. <laughs> thank you. That was very beautiful. Now, we're fortunate enough to have uh, Sarah, Sarah West back with us, and she's going to do a musical channeling, a toning, uh, just letting her beautiful instrument make sounds that the human ear can hear and beyond. So whenever Sarah's ready, we're just honored to have her toned for us again. So thank you.
Oh, thank you, Sarah. That was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, uh, for those of you who are watching the show uh, when it's first aired on, on February 12th tonight when we're taping it, because I know it goes out and show in different cities all, uh, all over the place at different times, uh, Ron is holding a workshop on February 15th. That's Sunday, February 15th, a few days from now, in the L.A. area. So if anybody wants information about that, please call me again and to find out about Sarah and what Ron is doing after that, 805-687-2053. And also, I just wanted, could somebody pull in on this? Jeff, could you do this? And could, or, or uh, take a look at this. And why don't you explain it while they're hooking it up? This was at the event in Maui. Uh, you would, yeah, I had Michael. about 167 people there. We did a two-day intensive, and this was over the harmonic convergence in, um, in August 16th and 17th. There were 167 of us, and we went up to the Haleakala Crater and um, did a wonderful meditation and what I call an activation of bringing, he, bringing in the first ray of divine will and power. And this is Archangel Michael's energy that he projected down. And that uh, somebody took a picture and yes, that energy showed. showed. That's the energy showed. Up. Well, that's yes. pretty amazing. Yeah. So now we're on it to have Archangel Michael <laughs> clear his throat. And clear his throat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're going to do a channeling yes. of Archangel Michael now. Okay, well, we're all ready. Again, everybody just settled in, and I would like you to feel this wonderful energy because no matter where you are, um, this energy is a gift to you. And just sense how this feels for you as I bring in our beloved Archangel Michael. Beloved Masters, I bring you greetings from the Most High. If you could but see yourselves and your earth as we see you, this was a very dark and dim place, a dark star for many long ages. But the light is beginning to radiate once more. You are beginning to project that wonderful light that has been sent down to you as a gift. That blazing heart center for that wonderful Christed energy. And the word Christed means that perfect energy of the divine creator, the mother, father, God. We began to send this energy down in a blanket effect, you might say. It began in the early 1900s in just a very small, just a very small amount until it began to build and to increase. And you can see, you can see the changes that have been wrought. But now the frequencies are such that it is coming down in a more focused effect and we are asking you to be the transducers the receptacles the transformers of this energy for you see this energy must have a means of coming down to the earth and going into the earth to heal the earth and to heal your body to change your frequencies your vibrations to begin to lift them to harmonize you, to bring you back into that beautiful being that you were when you first came into your physical vessel. You agreed. You agreed. You stepped forward for this grand plan on planet Earth to be co-creators in the physical so that the creator could express or experience more of itself. Imagine the Creator sending out these great rays of energy. Have you wondered where the saying, I am that I am, comes from? As the Creator projected out this wonderful energy and saw this, he said, I am that. 
I am that. I am that. The planets, the galaxies, the solar systems, and you. I am that. You are a spark of the divine. You have an opportunity now that you have not had since your first inception on the planet Earth. And all that is being asked of you is first that you accept that gift within your own heart center and let it build and overflow so that it begins to fill your aura, so it begins to fill your world. And others around you will begin to say, what is there about this person that is different? And if they ask you, then you answer. You answer simply, but most of all, you just be that beautiful being that you know within you is possible. Begin to claim your divinity, to begin to claim what we call what I am bringing forth, that first ray of divine will which will assist you to take back your empowerment, which will assist you to take back your sovereignty, which will assist you to create all of those things that you so desire. Build within your consciousness, your perfect world for you and your family. And then project that out to others and join with others as you begin to create and build this perfect harmony, this beauty, this perfect earth as it was in the past. We, the angelic realms, are here in great force. The angels are waiting to assist you, but you must ask. Many of them are unemployed. Give them a job. Give them something to do. I offer you, I offer you beautiful angelic helpers to help you in every endeavor. Listen, talk to them. They're not out there. The dimensions are interpenetrating. You are moving in and out of the interdimensional frequencies. You are moving out of the third dimension of limitation and lack and through the planes of emotions up into the higher energies of divine wisdom, up into the realms where you will begin to create where you will begin to manifest as you lift into those higher frequencies and tap into that cosmic primal substance, you will be amazed at how quickly you will begin to manifest, how quickly things will begin to change. But you must be very specific as to what it is you want to create. You must be very specific as to what you want in the world because you are becoming more powerful and it will not be allowed to be used in a negative way any longer. It must be for the highest good for yourself and for the highest good of all. And so claim, begin to claim, begin to claim that empowerment that is yours. Begin to be the observer of what is going on in your world. Do not judge, use discernment, use discretion, Speak softly, listen with ears that are tempered with compassion. See through eyes that are filtered with love. You will be amazed at how your world will begin to transform. You will be amazed at what will begin to happen as you begin to step on those waves of joy the waves of bliss, as your world becomes more harmonious, as the people around you begin to project back that mirror of love, that love that you feel for yourself, that you are sending out to others, it will begin to reflect back to you in so many wondrous ways. It is a time of miracles. It is a time to focus on 
not the past and not the future, but on the moment, the event of the now, what is happening right in this moment, for you are in your perfect moment when you stay in the now. When you focus on what is perfect in that moment, then you are building the next perfect moment. You're building the perfect day. You are building the perfect tomorrow. Build that vision, beloved ones. What you can create is beyond your wildest imaginings. You, can, you cannot think grand enough. All the beauty, the bounty, the abundance of creation is yours. And we are here to assist you. We will walk beside you. We will guide you. Know that you have never been alone. Know that we are here to guide you in every moment. Listen. Listen. And feel in your heart. We surround you and enfold you in an org field of love and protection. Know that we love you most profoundly. I am the Archangel Mikhail, and I bring you these truths, and so it is. Hello everyone, I guess we're getting near the end of the show and it's been an extraordinary experience for me and I hope you had the same feeling wherever you are and whenever you see it. So, uh, for me it's been uh, a wonderful time, I mean, for me that this show is just a, an example of, of the grace and the love that's been coming into my life and the, and the joy and the extraordinary people who, who we've been surrounded with as part of this show. And as I said last time, I just want to really thank all the people from all over the country who last week for the first time uh, we got calls about the show from New York and Washington and Philadelphia and Denver and Mill Valley and all over California and locally in Santa Barbara asking about different shows and different guests. And we're just so pleased that the, that, the, that the dedication of everyone, I'm just speaking for the whole crew and, and everyone associated with the show, and there are many, many people, that that, that heartfelt desire of ours to, to, to just bring a vibration of love without separation, without division, that is, is all-inclusive, to bring that energy and that love to as many people as possible and to have people respond to that in a way that's open and loving and caring and inspiring and encouraging is just just a wonderful gift for all of us here i mean tonight's show probably has more people involved with it between the crew and 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 just you know uh, rana and people came up with her and 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 with sarah and and audio people who came in with all their equipment I mean, it's just been an extraordinary day and show for us. So, again, I, I am just honored to be part of this, and I hope that, that what we're trying to do here is reaching more and more people to bring that love and that feeling of, of oneness, because this is what the show is dedicated to, dedicated to the oneness. So thank you. Good night. <laughs>